I'm always happy to talk about Rosa Parks, who was one of the great figures in the modern civil rights movement. I had the opportunity of meeting Ms. Parks twice in my life. And I like to celebrate her life. And I like, as a teacher, to talk to my students about her broader history in the civil rights movement. It is sometimes presented that she was a tired old lady who simply didn't get off the bus in Montgomery, Alabama because she was too tired. But in fact, Rosa Parks has a much longer history as a civil rights activist. She was trained as an activist. She was trained to be uh, a civil rights uh, activist, and she took that training so that she could become one of the leading figures in the Montgomery bus boycott. And so she was far from being a tired old lady. Rosa Parks was a major figure in the modern struggle. I think that Black History Month is something that would be valuable for people all over the world. Black History Month is an opportunity for people, not only in the United States, but in Europe and Africa and Asia and everywhere in South America, to understand the extraordinary contributions of people of African origin toward uh, building uh, the civilization in the United States. This was a people that was enslaved. This was a people who came unwillingly from the African continent who despite all kinds of barriers were able to make remarkable contributions to the development of the United States. And every February we have the opportunity to see not only their struggle but of their extraordinary contributions in science, in literature, in arts, the humanities generally. So it's an opportunity, I believe, to promote a much more vigorous awareness of the contributions uh, of a remarkable group of human beings. I think uh, Black History Month is an opportunity to link the presidency of Barack Obama to the broader civil rights struggle. It seems to me very clear that Barack Obama would never have been elected had it not been for the courageous men and women of the civil rights movement who blazed, blazed the path for this achievement. Barack Obama himself, I think, has made it clear that without the civil rights movement, we would never have had the first African-American president. And I think he's been extremely forthright in making that acknowledgement.